Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Atlanta United World Tour. This episode is being recorded right after the last one. We're jumping back in. We have Wilfred Boney and the team. If you guys didn't catch the end of last episode, it was a weird one. We only played one game and ended up having to sign a striker because it was the end of the transfer window. I was thinking I had one more episode in me before it ended up happening, but we got there kind of quick. So now we have Wilfred Boney in the squad, which means Tito Vial was back on the right, which is totally fine. Um, we're going to go from there, see what we got. And uh, this is going to be the squad that we're rocking. Wilfred Boney, we give him the number nine. Um, and Pity Martinez is also wearing the number eight because Brother Barco is on loan. Um, we gave Wilfred Boney the number nine because I thought Romario was going to go to China, but the deal ended up not going through on time. So um, he's not going to be able to go. But that's okay. Because um, Romario doesn't really get in my squad anyways. I don't like his build in FIFA. Um, he does not feel good in this game. I'm hoping for a different um, scenario for uh, Wilfred Boney. Um, and hoping to not have a Kenwin Jones situation. Boney still has a little bit of pace on him. So he shouldn't be too bad. Um, so, and by acceleration, I don't mean much. Like, he's literally probably about as slow as Kenwin Jones. Um, but he does have the strength, heading accuracy that we need. 95% um, sure he probably is going to be another Kenwin Jones situation. Uh, but it was kind of like half in the joke of doing so. Um, every backup striker we've ever signed for Joseph Martinez has always been somebody with a with that kind of build. Um, Romario, not the fastest, a little less strength than Kenwin. Kenwin obviously did not play very often. The number nine seems to be cursed for our backup striker. Um, but, you know, we wanted to bring in another striker. We had to please the board and bring in a quote-unquote starting striker. So we'll see how the two up top works with having Kenwin and uh, Joseph in the team. If it doesn't work, we might have to let him go um, and just kind of play with the team that we have. But, you know, it'll please the board. It'll make sure that if I do end up having to play another second season here, they're not going to be too mad and I will be able to play it. Nice. Wilfred, Boney. Oh. Not really away from the Dude, threat. see, we need Boney to win those type of balls. If he's not winning those, he might just be Kenwin Jones. Should we make Boney do a backflip? Really just give him the full Kenwin Jones appeal? Uh, cut out by the defender. Oh, nice try. Yeah, dude, Wilfred. <laughs> I need to get him to stop trying to run back. Because sometimes Kenwin would do that shit where he would just run all the way back. And you're like, Kenwin, you're not fast enough to get back. Stop it. He'd be trying to play center attacking mid at striker. It's like I'd, I'd much rather you just stand up there and look pretty. Look, I wanted to bring in Peter Crouch, but Peter Crouch is retiring, so I wasn't able to do it. Really getting at the opposition this far. Like, the pitch let now. me just get him on a six month loan. Get yeah, him out of the championship, you know? Martinez. Well, now they've won the ball back in the middle of the park by intercepting that pass. Able to cut that out with uh, no. sharp movement. Now the shot. Great reach and a great catch. Does anybody from remember what Kenwin's pace actually was? In FIFA 19? Or in FIFA 17? 18. He was in 18 too, but... Going forward, oh, yeah, he wasn't in 17. Got support here. This is an exercise. Got his shot off now. Wilfred? Oh, dude, Wilfred's about to be buns, bro. <laughs> oh, dude. I love it, though. The oh no! Well, we've got All right. Um, I need to change the instructions, dude. Look how tired Boney already is. Homie keeps trying to run everywhere. Like, stop it! You're gonna stay central. You're gonna be a target man. Uh, you're gonna be conservative, and you're just staying forward, dude. I just need him to stay where he is. Hold that back line. Walk however slow he needs to be. It is the most difficult thing in all the officiating, I think. But this assistant has got eagle eyes. Well, I certainly wouldn't want to do that job because 
the uh, speed that players move now as it turns out oh i just got ripped beautiful saw that coming and intercepted and they've got a man out wide martinez looks the goalkeeper in the eye and it's a shot now nagby let's go baby that's one nil <clears throat> homie wilfred still trying to get back and i don't know why I'm like, I don't even care if I overcrowd your position. I need you to stand there. Vialba. Ah. With the passing and the opposition able to deal with that. Britos. Looking for teammates in the middle. That's a nice. Very weak cross from a very Pity. good position. Oh, oh my God. Shifting across, <laughs> reading the pass. I'm so glad I wasted that on uh, Wilfred. And I actually do kind of mean that because now I know I'm not like drastically changing the team by signing another striker, especially a starting striker. He's good enough that if I can get him in situations, he will succeed um, in terms of heading the ball. Um, so I just have to get him in the right situations. Neatly intercepted. Well, the away team come here having drawn their last two games, which. Shows a competitive streak, but maybe not quite the winning mentality that they need. No, but you wonder whether a draw here would be satisfactory whether they take that now. I wish the commentary was in-depth enough to talk about, like, the last two games that we played. Because we played the top of the table in the last two games. So, of course, we're going to draw those two games. Like, maybe we could have squeaked out a win, but those were going to be good games regardless, man. Come on now. You know? Like, jeez. Change of ends, and the second half is underway. Let's go, Wilfred. Oh, thought he was going to squeak that in at the end. Homie walks, like, runs faster than Joseph Martinez walks in this game. It's great. In this attack, and it looks dangerous. That's a fine catch by the keeper. We take those, we take those. If you guys are YouTube fam and don't really watch on uh, Twitch, um, I would strongly encourage it, you know? You get to see the career modes earlier, um, obviously, if you guys are big career mode fans, and you get to see them live and be a part of the conversation, because um, maybe you guys don't like commenting on videos very much, but you would... Heard. I swear to God, everybody can shoot in Liga MX. Um... But maybe you would enjoy talking in chat, you know? We got we got uh, some moderators over there that like keep the chat active, which is good. We're growing pretty quick, as you guys can see, below my webcam. We're at three subs now, and 938 followers, I think, currently. We play a lot of pro clubs, which we let viewers get in on. We let followers get in on, I should Barcelona say. You do have to follow the channel to get in, but that the transfer is completed. Yeah, and I think both parties will be absolutely delighted. I think uh, he'll have a successful career at his new club and around forty five million pounds. I think that's money well spent. Martinez. Let's go, Wilfred. Bonnie. Hit in hard and low. Oh and that will she needed that anywhere but straight at him, man. Wasteful pass, unforced error, really. Well, it will be a throw. It's gone out off that player there. That's very Got good him. defending. And the player had nowhere to go. Vialba. It goes out wide again. Want to use the full width of the pitch now the team in possession all the time against a dog come on ref thank you jesus give me that free kick referee. come on dude and the defending team might be in trouble they might regret conceding this that was too strong oh it wasn't strong enough interesting 
from an effort from a long, long way out. Ariano. Vialba. You can see what he was trying to All do right. with the cross, but it's a goal kick. Sorry, I'm focusing up a little bit more than the past couple episodes on these games. Trying to get some wins, because that's really what's just keeping us from being top of the table right now. Trying to get the ball in behind. Let's go, Miggy. 2-1 up, baby. Let's go. Wilfred's going to be important for those type of balls, where he can just kind of hold up against the defense, because he has like 91 strength. Um, he can just hold up the defense and wait for Miggy and Joseph and Pity and Tito even, all of them to just come onto the ball. Um, and he's really important for those type of moments. And I think that's kind of where Kenwin fell short, is where Kenwin always wanted to be the goal scorer because it's always what he's been. Um, you know, he's always prided himself on being that player. But if he would have just tried to be a little bit more of a now ball holder sometimes, um, I think he would have had a little bit more worth in our team. Granted, I think he was he was going to end up retiring anyways because of injury reasons and stuff like that. He just couldn't stay healthy. Um, and that was also a big issue with Kenwin. Time is running out. It's now or never. I think they've got to lift the game. Martinez. Oh, the touch, Lost Wilfred. The I was holding down L2 and still couldn't and make that touch. It was good progress with this attack. Right from the beginning, we've never known which way this game is going to go, and it, it's kept its drama right to the last. Pity. There's only a minute to go. Well, the noise in here. These fans, they're like the 12th man trying to G their players up. Wilfred Bonny. He might be through. Martinez. Oh, nice shot. Nice save. The corner. The ball's in the right I think we got this, though. They can do several things here. They don't have to whip it in. In goes the corner. Cleared away. Well Where's away Rolford at there? He's back post. Heard. Because I do need to take advantage of that. He has very good heading as well, so. Do 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 do. Do do do. I would love to get like Olivier Giroud in the next career mode. Uh, his career, his uh, his contract is too short. He was only signed to a one-year deal, um, or a two-year deal. Sorry. Um, so obviously we're in his one-year part is what I meant by that. Let's see. Training-wise, Barco is gone, so we do have to train somebody else up. Uh, if we get Brandon Vasquez up, that's still best-case scenario for us. Brandon Vasquez, I kind of want to take the same way. I want his shot power and finishing to go up, but I also want his attacking positioning and short passing to go up because I want him to be a ball holder as well, uh, which does mean I need to work on his strength a little bit. But what the hell? Why? No. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Today's about to be a long stream, man. Sunday streams, if you guys had, don't watch them, uh, again, over on YouTube. Uh, the streams on Twitch, they usually go a little bit longer um, because we do start earlier. We start at 2 p.m. on Sundays. Uh, that might end up getting pushed back a little bit, but um, as of right now, we start at 2 p.m. on Sundays. Um, but it's good uh whenever we start at 2 p.m we get to go all day uh so i obviously get to eat before uh stream play a lot of different game modes we'll play a lot of blackout today probably uh, i want to try to get better at that because for whatever reason i'm horrible at it now um frankfurt have shown interest in taking joseph martinez blah 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 we already got that one um danny sturridge just said that he's willing to move oh man who are you? Who, who? Who, who? Uh, we'll play some Fortnite, some FIFA, some um, Portal Knights, a little free game that came out for PlayStation um, uh, Plus members. So that game, it's like a little bit like Minecraft. Uh, gets us a little bit of creativity, but it's also an RPG. Um, so uh, Lee and I, if you guys watch our streams, you know who Lee is. If you guys watch our videos, you probably also know who Lee is. Um, He'll be on the stream today, of course. At some point, I think he worked this morning, so 
Uh, we'll see how much he really wants to be awake. He might end up being part of the later stream, but that's fine. Um, so we'll try to do what we can with that career or with that stream, uh, which is about to go live at two o'clock. This will be too late for you guys to see. Um, these videos are going up like in the middle of the week. So, like I said, we're gonna try to get out more videos of this series this week. If you guys are enjoying it, make sure you smack that like button. Let me know how much you enjoy it. Let me know how much I should record it. Um, because I have noticed, obviously, there are there are more people that enjoy watching this series over, um, like, the player career mode. Um, but again, I know the player career mode can kind of be dry sometimes, so, uh, understandable. Not everybody's into the player career modes. Responsibility for some of those five in midfield to get forward and... See, like, why is Wilfred back here, bro? It won't be isolated, although it looks a bit like that on our screens. Yeah, he could be a lonely man up top there oh. if he doesn't get the support that uh, he needs because he is the type of player that does need support. Why, Wilfred? Why? Why? <laughs> Wilfred, stop it. All I see is Wilfred's big ass at the top of the screen. Stay central, target man, conservative, stay forward. Stay in your place. Well, stay in your lane. Striding forward purposefully. Well, suddenly they could be on the counter attack. Beautiful cut. Now, can he take them on? A great chance to go in front. Oh, oh pity you got to score that. Because it looked as though there was going to be some real damage done to them. That's a great interception. I need to kick this ball out of bounds because my whole team is in the wrong position right now. Switch that to Boney. Because for some reason he's still there. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are watching at this part. Um, what camera angle do you like best in FIFA? I've been playing co-op now in... Um, and pro clubs, and I have to, I will say I've actually started to enjoy it, um, but I also really enjoy playing like the closer cam like this one. Obviously, whenever I get to switch players, I don't mind playing this camera angle. Um, I think goals look better on this camera angle. Oh, that should have gone down. Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Reyes. Alvarez. That's his game, isn't it? Intercepting. Whew. Oh, I couldn't get it. it coming. Cut it out. Good work. Guiding it through. Trying to get behind the defenders to get in a good cross. Shot off. They blocked it there. Nagby. Nagby. Oi. Andrade. And they're trying to dispossess him. Cut out the pass. Here's a chance to attack. Just working away to try and find an opening. To put them in front. Oh, beautiful. Barely. After training every day for that kind of situation from close range. Swung in from oh, the I moved. Shoo. Great work by the goalkeeper. Hold it. Like, where is Tito, bro? Opportunity in a wider area. A great chance to go in front. Oh, Wilfred, I time finished it. by accident. Well, he can't believe it. He's oh, I'm so sorry, him. Wilfred. Jesus. That should have gone to uh, Joseph anyways, but I put too much power on it. I completely botched that whole play. For somebody who doesn't use time finishing as much as me, I really need to stop trying to. Which, that one was an accident, but I, I literally just need to take it off. Two minutes. Two minutes. 
Because I haven't even taken the time to actually attempt to use it. Field three pony. Well, we're halfway through. Ba -na -na -na. So the referee's happy, and the second half gets underway. Rivero. I feel like we haven't even played the bottom half of the table in this league. Like, these are all teams that I've expected in the top table. Maybe the last game we played in. Which even that was a 2-1. Honestly, series like this are like what makes me learn more about leagues. Trying to get the ball in behind. Got the opposition backpedaling a little bit. Delivered into the box. Pity. Oh, just why? Well, not far wide at all. Next time, maybe he'll bury it up. Nicholas Martin Pareja. Filtry Pony. Space for the shot. Oh, let's go, Joseph. Way to follow that up, baby. Might that just be the vital strike? I'm trying to think of anything else that's been going on in the news recently um, in terms of uh, football. Gonzalez. Who do you guys think your favorite team is going to sign? Like, I don't think Arsenal is going to be very busy in this window. I do hope we get another center back in. Um, but we'll see. I'm hoping for the best. Preparing for the worst. But I do think we need another center back in. Even another wing back probably wouldn't be bad either. Put it, having somebody on the left or the right. Carl Jenkinson did really well in the FA Cup, but obviously it was against Blackpool, so take that as you will. Uh, but it is nice that he um, said that he wants to be a part of the team. He'll always be a gunner, so. Which is nice, because he hasn't really had the opportunities to play in the team, but he understands his purpose in the squad, which is always good. And he's putting in the work to try to get back to that spot. And there's a lot of fans that think that he should be playing over um, Lichsteiner right now. Which says a lot more about Lichsteiner than it does about Carl Jenkinson, but... Based across the ball now. And then obviously for Atlanta, I'm looking for another, potentially another center mid. Uh, a center back in the draft would be nice. Just, uh, you know, if we can get somebody that's really good. I don't really know the players that are coming out of the draft, though, so I can't really say that. Because um, I would only really want, like, a really top-tier center back. That was never going to get through. Alba. Martinez saw that coming and intercepted. Rivero, Alvarez, 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 Alvarez. Like, why do they say it two different ways? Oh, what a bad pass. It was supposed to go so much more wide than that just did. Really get at the opposition Let's go, here. LGP. Let's go, baby. Ten minutes Big ass. Of regular time. That's a combination of skill and will to hold off the opposition. Alvarez. Reyes. Trying to pick out someone in the center. Uh, the cross has gone right, Let's see. Poor effort. Trying to focus up because I want to win this game. This is a big game against it's Atlas. Effort by the home Atlas. Side here. They've just kept their noses in front. And they're going to need all the support they can get for that to continue to the final whistle. Yeah, if they do end up winning this, they will have their fans to thank because they've been terrific out there today. Good reading of the by anticipating the pass. Trying to catch the other team out with a quick break here. He might be through. 
and he turned. This should wrap it up. Oi. No, not settled yet. But who knows? Might they live to regret that? Almost too casual there. Let's do Wilfred exhausted. I still forgot to make subs this game. I'm so bad about making subs, dude. But we get the 1-0 win, barely. That was a good game though. We had no possession. We had we made our shots count, I guess, because we only had two shots on target. I don't know if that's making it on count or not. Or making it count or not, but out of the possession we have is what I mean. 33% shot accuracy. Jesus, man. Jesus, but we always went on the counter. We didn't hold the ball for too long, uh, which is how we like to play with this team. So um, I don't mind not having a lot of the possession and still getting a 1-0 win. Uh, that puts us top of the table, though, which is amazing. We're going to do these uh, these little training drills real quick, see if we can get anybody up. Brandon Vasquez is up to 64 rated, which is awesome. Um, let's make sure these other players can get there as well. Let's see. Let's disappointing not to start. I forgot to play Julian Gressel, which is a little disappointing. Um, again, I forgot. I uh, it makes me so mad, but I literally always forget to um, make subs. So like in FIFA, if you if you play a player who wants to be a starter, if you play him as a sub, he still ends up being happy because he gets to play. Um, I completely forgot to let him play. So um, the current state of the table, we are a game behind right now, or a game in hand rather. So um, we are in, in third, but really we're more more than likely in first. Uh, bottom of the league, Lobos is down there, and that's who we're playing in the next game. So we're probably going to play a backup lineup or some sort of backup lineup, get in a lot of the players I haven't been playing recently into the squad um, and play like that. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next one, I'll see you guys later. Peace.